What is up in this John? It's your boy IBS Kelso. In today's video, we're going to be doing a A Kit 450 shootout. These bikes are created by Skralix. I did do a 250 shootout a couple days ago. If you guys haven't watched that video, definitely go give it a look. But today, we're really going to see if these bikes are worth it. If they really compare anywhere near the 450s and I mean the OEMs and if they're better than the OEMs, you know, if they're worth the hype, you know. I'm starting out on the Gas Gas 450. We here are at the Lawrence Brothers compound. Um, you know, Jet's honestly killing the game in the 450s. So definitely why not come to such a memorial historic spot to where this guy's literally creating, you know, memories day in, day out inside the sport. I mean, literally changing the sport. So yeah, lock in. It's going to be another long video. Um, going to probably do about two laps on each bike just to kind of see where I rank them and how they feel. And so far, this Gas Gas 450 is actually feeling pretty great, not going to lie. And you can really tell when creators really put a little bit more effort into certain bikes. I think on the 250, Skralix didn't do a bad job, but just a lot of the front took issues and stuff like that. I could see that it was more or less like, yeah, I'm going to put the 250s in there, but it's it's not going to be the main attraction. You know, some some things just have the main attraction, and I think the 450s is, is that in this bike pack. And so far, it is not proving me wrong. This gas gas feels absolutely amazing. Now, I've been told that the Honda is probably the best one in the pack, and I have not really gave, given that one a go yet. So I'm very excited to see how the Honda is going to do after this gas gas. But right now, this thing's actually pretty nice so far through all this kind of rough and bumps. I mean, this is a stock setup. They're all going to be on stock. So kind of just lock in, get your lickies and chewies. But man, does this compound feel great. I haven't written that this compound in a very long time. This is a uh, this is JV's compound. This is the it's called Hunter Hunter Lawrence or Hunter Brothers compound, but it's the Lawrence Brothers. It is like four dollars on the shop, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, you literally have Supercross here. You got a sand track. You got a big moto. You literally get your feet wet with go karting. I mean, it's absolutely great here. I mean, I loved when this track first came out. So. Yeah, kind of amazing and really testing 450s on this track is absolutely where it's at and actually ripping dude like I, I don't feel that front tuck issue like i did on the 250s so these bikes are definitely well more based planted and yeah man i think these things could compete if you were to put them in some races i'm not a huge 450 guy but man this thing's got some power dude i love the sound mods as well i don't know why man i'm like a huge like I'm an advocate like I love a good sound mod on a bike it makes it just 10 times better it makes you feel it makes you just feel dangerous it makes you feel mean you know like you're actually putting in that freaking pound town when you're like going absolutely Mach 10 you know just hearing that thing roar but I will say right off the bat this gas gas definitely sticking up um the turning is a little bit iffy at times I feel like I could definitely change the you know swing arm and get a little bit better turning um, but once again, that's all coming with setups. But right now, the power band on this bike, I believe it's just automatically set to race. I think all of them are. I think it's like a, a casual and then a race. The race power band feels really great. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Really trying to count, you know, count my blessings on these bikes. I don't want to overshoot them because obviously you know how much power 450 has. But just the right amount of uh, throttle control, great engine braking, I would say, on these bikes as well. Staying about third gear right now gives me all the power in the world. It would almost like if I was to do that in IRL, it'd be kind of just fine as well, as long as I keep those RPMs up. But hitting through sand pretty great, jumping on these, you know, the suspension feels great when you land, especially if you try to OJ. Just look at that freaking engine braking. I mean, that's beautiful. Yeah, definitely, so far, the gas gas has surprised me and starting off the pack <laughs> i actually really like it a lot so i'm actually super excited to see how the rest of these bikes work and if they can literally like make me a little bit more happy because right now i'm actually stoked so I, I i think the bar has been set high just off the gas gas so let's go ahead and hop into our next freaking bike next up we have the infamous honda 450 had to pop on a jet lawrence freaking uh jersey i do have the jersey actually as well irl fun fact i did go to st louis <laughs> i spent about 225 dollars on this jersey Let's see if i can just show it off real quick yeah i did buy this uh, jersey irl man this thing is absolutely sweet it was so worth the money um but yeah off the bat i don't know how i feel about the uh i don't know how i feel about the sound mod on it but you can just see how skinny this bike looks compared to the oem one really enjoy the model swap on it i think just the, the skinny model is not bad like it's kind of something weird to get used to but it's there but the bike feels actually really planted i was actually told that this bike is like really a bike to be like 
super happy to ride and actually get the fill of. Um, I don't know about the turning radius on it yet, but once again, we're barely just starting this freaking lap off. But it feels pretty great. Once again, I think all these bikes right now for the 450s, you can really just stay third gear everywhere and be A-OK. -okay. You get like the maximum amount of power uh, from the bike. Even when you start to slow down, it kind of picks back up pretty quick. Like I'm like literally at 40 freaking miles per hour. Like, okay, so right here off the bat, I didn't really get no gas gas. I didn't get the gas gas having any front tuck issues or even having like any of those little glitches. So I think the gas gas might automatically be doing better than what the Honda is. Just I'm not really receiving any of that bad stuff. Wow, what an easy mode from your boy. But I think I think right now the Honda's not bad, but it's actually having some weird physics going on, as you can see. I was not receiving any of this from the gas gas, but maybe we just have to adjust from bike to bike. You know, obviously they're all different, so I just gotta kinda understand the dynamic of the bike and where I can really, you know, put in that extra work. Like how far I can push the limits of the bike. But right now it does have a huge front tuck thing, and I don't know if that's because of the model swap and like how skinny the bike looks and if it actually is like impacting the way the, the bike handles. Because the gas gas was a little bit fatter on that on that fender. So, I don't know. Something I might have to look up, maybe ask. I don't really know about making bikes or, you know, using bikes. Or I, I guess I should say using, I mean, making them, so. But, I mean, a couple little mistakes didn't crash, though. Suspension still feels great, though. I think it's just only turning on this bike is that I'm a little weary. Where, like, I really can't push it or kind of be myself through the corners. It's got some get up, dude. Definitely got some get up. Like, look at that. Like, a little bit of bounce, but obviously a suspension. Uh, nice setup with some good suspension. Might help out with that bounce, but definitely kind of went right back on the floor. Now, I don't know about the weight on this bike. I don't know what the weight is. I don't know what the heaviest bike is in the pack, but um, I, it doesn't really matter on the weight. I mean, this bike's getting carried by the by the power. So it, the power band and all these bikes feel absolutely amazing, especially if you wanted to rip it up. I would love to see these bike go like toe to toe with the factory bikes, just cause like how like how much power these things actually have. I think that would be like a really cool video. Maybe have to do that later, like factory versus freaking A kit, you know? Just really push it to the metal, like see who's pushing. But I think the only thing that I could say to Skrallix is that like as soon as we can understand where these front hooks are coming from, or maybe fix it, maybe the physics of the of the bike is not co like correlating with the game. Then we can maybe push on that, but then again, even the OEMs have like front tuck issues and all that. So, and obviously, I need to switch the swing arm or something on this bike because the turning is is super hard on a long turn. Like a good 180 turn, you can even see right there. I'm trying to turn the bike and stay in a rut. And I'm not even to. So I might have to just slow down completely in order to get a good turn here. Let me see if I just sit down, and make the turn. Yeah, that was just a little iffy. I don't know. Um, I would say. I would say I really like the gas gas, but rating this bike right now, probably a seven. I'm not saying it's bad, but probably definitely a seven. So scrub a root. Ooh, yeah, not bad. I'll definitely give it a seven. So let's see how that goes. We'll get into the next, get into the next one. I'll go ahead and start it off and say for me personally, I really actually enjoy the colors on this Husqvarna. I can't even lie. Like this bike actually looks beautiful, but just the Husqvarna logo and like the, the black, the black and white on it looks really nice. Like, like this black is not just like an ordinary black. Like, it's got like a nice little little husp to it. I don't know, but the fairings, the the fender, everything. I mean, this bike looks just absolutely phenomenal, and it feels really planted. It actually has some get up as well. So, this bike might be a force to be reckoned with inside this pack. No, no cap. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Scrawlix, I think mo more than likely it's only my third bike in here, but. And I feel like you did like absolute wonders already with this bike and I haven't even really touched it or even got a whole lap done with it. Oh, it went way too fast in there. Almost gives me like the vibe of me wanting to be like a little bit of like Malcolm Stewart, Christian Craig, you know? Like almost like RJ Hampshire, like I was saying it for the 250, huge shout out to him, but I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely like a Christian Craig, Malcolm Stewart right now. And I want to see how far I can really push this. Like definitely could not stick in that rut. That's probably like more than on me. Oh, yeah, third gears for all these bikes are absolutely beautiful. I Like, it has not ceased to amaze me that, like, you literally can do almost all your work in third gear. Having a little trouble, though, in some of these corners right here, but, I mean, I messed up already. 
Hurting doesn't feel too bad. Wow. There we go. Good engine braking. Way to like soak up those bumps. Actually like br tapping that brack. See, that's something I haven't really tested. Like tapping that back wheel. Wow, look at that. Like actually tapping the back wheel actually brings that bike back down. So usually on the OEMs, even though I tap it, it actually doesn't really work. Like I've done it multiple times on my Honda and other bikes. Like when I tap that back wheel, it actually doesn't really activate. Like I'm actually tapping it and it actually is picking up on that. Try to see if I can do it again here. So here, and then like literally it's bringing that front end down. So <laughs> it's kind of cool, man. Like literally bringing the, bringing the back wheel down. Like once when you go off that the limiter, you know, so. I actually like that, man. Huge shout out to Skrallex. He's gotten that thing to actually work. Now, I'm not saying, like, the OEMs don't do it, but this thing actually, like, emphasizes it and, like, it's over-exaggerated, which I enjoy. Like, when you actually press that brake, you can see yourself, like, actually pop the bike back down. Like, here, pop the brake back down, and, like, you can see your whole bike come down. Sometimes it activates on the OEMs, and I could be completely wrong, and maybe I'm just over-hyping this, but definitely right there, it's something I haven't really played with, but, man, does that feel great. Now, I don't know if it does it more or activates more on a bigger bike. So I don't really ride 450s on the OEMs. But, you know, from what I've seen from the 250s trying to do that, I don't really, I don't really see it happening. So, but so far, I think the Husqvarna, I think the Husqvarna and the Gas Gas got to be my two favorite. I think the Husky outbeats the Gas Gas for me right now. This thing is just absolutely a monster. Like, look at that. This thing is absolutely a monster. Nice engine braking, like wow, dude. This bike is beautiful. So I think, I think certainly Skrallex, some bikes. I don't know, like, like I said, I don't know how, you know, making bikes work. But I think some bikes just have like good physics on it automatically, and you don't really have to touch up on stuff other than fine tuning. And then some others do just have like a hard time. That was on me. I definitely rode too high of that berm, which is fine because you know what I mean. Like you, you, you want some of those fan favorites, and you want others to have a little bit of. You want to have like difference, like a difference between all of them and kind of like a, an opinion to where it's like, oh, well, I like riding the Honda because of this. Oh, well, I like using, you know, the Husky because of this, like it's how it works. And you might be something to where like the Husky feels great, but it maybe doesn't have the best power band. Maybe it doesn't have the best suspension. So I don't know. I really want to see the full limit, full potential with when these guys actually get some really nice, like, you know, setups on them, man. I'm going to have to really try to work dig deep and like trying to come out with some setups especially if these bikes want to stick around for a while i mean you have we literally are having three different ways of riding now we have the oems we got the a kits and we have the factories that's like all three different avenues of approach to just have fun in this game which i i actually support i'm glad the community is behind it right now so going to get to our next bike i actually don't want to even get off <laughs> next up is the kawasaki and i gotta say the kawasaki 250 was actually my fan favorite i actually enjoyed that bike so much and i'm hoping that it the 450 is just the exact same freaking thing man this bike has been through hell and back and it's just so hard to kind of get a good kawasaki in this game so i'm really hoping this thing is actually a contender and it's super great because i'm gonna definitely want to ride this more inside the bike and so far, wow, look at that power band. I feel like definitely Jason Anderson right now. I definitely feel like Anderson pushing P, no Kizzy, little Adam C and Cirillo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, slower up just a bit. There we go. Oh, could not connect in that rut. That's okay, though. Bike feels great on that. Wow, third gear, yo. This thing in third gear actually munches. Like, it's pushing P for a second. Hold up. There we go. Nice little scrub. Nice, get in that. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, perfect suspension, honestly. See if we can run this inside. Oh, no. Got way too sharp with it. Honestly, I didn't even see how fast I was actually going into that rut. It might have been me, like, literally going Mach 10 and it wasn't a connecting. Because I, I kind of forget that I'm always on, like, riding 450s, you're, like, second second gear. And you're on almost at, like, 50 miles per hour. So it's just something I'm not really used to. See, I gotta like slow her up just a bit because like even when I was slowed down I was still at 50 miles per hour I almost went, like, went in that freaking rut at like 60 dude you know what I mean I almost went in at like 60 it would have been like so bad like man that's like pushing P dude like I'm thinking I'm going slow right there I'm actually 40 miles per hour like what <laughs> you know what I'm saying oh good bounce nice 
I will say these things got some up up dude and I enjoy that you literally can kind of oh, no way I just slow okay maybe I should have actually slowed down just a bit I'm trying to make this turn I enjoy that these bikes you can stay third gear everywhere and be okay and still gain your power right back you can like fluctuate of like going back down the second real quick but man like look at that freaking brake tap right there that was absolutely beautiful the brake tap boom you can really see the bike just dip down on you personally right now i will stay i will say i'm liking the kawasaki little mishaps here and there hopefully it can fight me over from the husky but the husky actually felt really great and i'm still kind of holding on to that I think it goes Husky, Gas, Gas, maybe Cow, yeah, Cowie, and then Honda. Honda kind of let down, man. I was told that it was going to be a little bit forced to be reckoned with. I hope that a, a setup kind of changes that, but it wasn't really that uh, uh, to me, you know? It looks like the Kawasaki just having a hard time to turn, and that could be me just sitting down, I mean, standing up for no reason. Wow, wow, look at those brakes, dude. Holy smokes. I actually went way too hard on those brakes. Love the color though, like the, the the highlighter green. I said this in the other video, like the highlighter green, the Incredible Hawk of like 2004. Like I like that bright green, you know? The bright green really makes his bike pop and I really can't even make the turn and connect in the rut. So this almost is feeling like a freaking Honda to me now. Like I feel like I'm kind of pushing it a little bit too hard and that's okay because I want to see like where I can really messing up and I'm just not being able to turn the bike and connect in the rut. Like, it's almost like I have to stay half throttle in order for the bike to feel something. I'm, like, wanting to stick around. Took all this outside. Let me see what this inside looks like. Good bumps, though. It's not bad over bumps. I think it, definitely a good suspension uh, tweak could be good. Yeah, still not able to make this bike turn. So, I think turning, like, this bike with turning and the Honda's turning is eh, just not there, Chief. Just not there, but it could be there. So keep that in the back of your mind if you want the Kawasaki to work definitely work on trying to get something definitely try to work on getting something to get this bike to turn you know if not kind of crucified but I like it I will 100% right 100% say right now I like this bike um, it's definitely not in my top two and Husqvarna and gas gas still got me but it's there it's there definitely in my top three at least so far well, let's go ahead and get into our next little bike you all right, next up is the KTM. Good old shout out to Chase Sexton and Tom Vial. Um, I'm not a huge Chase Sexton fan. I think personally, I just kind of hate when people kind of give be given the uh, you know chip or like respectfully he was in second at points and it's un unfortunate for Tomac last year. But for the KTM man with with Chase Sexton, you know it was just unfortunate that he had to win the chip on how many times he crashed and there's no one else to get there and kind of compete. But all hands down to him. I'm not mad at Chase. I think I think I just kind of hate when people get defaulted, you know, win by. So, other than that, I will automatically go ahead and say off the bat, this KTM's gearing is super short. Like, I'm already pushing, like, on the yellow limiter, like, pretty quick before even things are, like, popping off. You know what I mean? So, be in mind that the gearing on this, on this KTM is very short or it's going to get you up pretty quick, like, quick RPM. So... Thing's gonna take off. It's almost like a rocket, but you gotta be able to switch gears pretty quick. But actually feels great around that corner. Was actually able to stick. Had some pretty good suspension automatically. A little bit of front tuck, but not bad. There we go. Wow, actually the KTM. Okay. I'm on I'm not gonna lie, this KTM 450 is feeling pretty nice. I can't even lie. Let me see what these bumps look like. Catch up, connect. Yeah, this freaking bike is absolutely beautiful i i gotta put this up in my top two now i think this is gonna go ahead and, and take over for the gas gas spot oscar varna still has my heart but the ktm just took over for the gas gas this thing is absolutely like wonders bro i can't even lie like short gearing yeah you're probably not gonna get a long gearing but that's okay like if you can at least just pass around pass like up all your freaking people by like hitting the torque button you know what i mean you're pushing peace so acceleration is there for this bike i like it Go ahead and try to hit us some big whips coming up right here. I guess I should be like focusing up on that. They, these bikes can whip, man. They, they got some really nice balance on them. Like going at a 360 no scope, dude. I don't know why, but I can hit those things like it's nothing, bro. W to this KDM. Honestly, Skrallex, I like this bike a lot. And I like that 
you didn't make all these bikes like super heavy like i don't know like the weight on any of these but they don't feel super heavy like none of them you know what i mean you know like i'm very excited to see like the suzuki when i come up to it because it's just such a heavy guy on the oem and the 250 suzuki is super heavy but it has a lot of power right but yesterday suzuki wasn't heavy dude it's just it had the power band it had the power and just wasn't heavy like it wasn't exposed it wasn't exposed to like not being a good like being a good bike and you had to nerf it to the ground for like making it fat you know i think the same thing with the honda right now for an oem but i like it man these bikes are quick this bike feels great i think this fender just looks really plasticky for me like it's a weird thing of like how it shines off the light you know nice connect connect nice first gear with some good engine braking that's beautiful another front tuck in the same spot so definitely leaning these bikes over more than what you can like like a little bit more like biting off more than you can chew you're you're definitely dragging that handlebar but you're dragging the fender as well <laughs> like it's coming down with you man see what this outside looking like not bad not bad not bad i will say that i do like the ktm it, it it's definitely just has a flow you know it definitely has a flow that i'm willing to get behind I still stand by literally third gears everything you need on, on these bikes You don't have to go down or up like you literally have all the power you need Maybe for turning maybe it's just go down the second but everywhere else man. You can just stay whipped In third gear and get your power right back up An Amazing bike dude. I kid you not Nice get that turn Beautiful another 360 for the boys for the boys easy peasy <laughs> all right let's get to the next bike now skrillex did add a stark varg in this pack um i gotta say i'm not a huge stark varg fan i'm not an electric bike guy honestly i just don't know it just doesn't suit me it doesn't flow with me but i i gotta give it a go it's in the pack and i gotta see what it is and the power band actually feels not bad all right i don't really ride the oem uh stark varg unless it's for like a little short or doing something for content but Bike feels great. I mean, I only have it on normal. I know there's like some speed demon like setting on here to where you can actually go Mach 10. I did try it the other day when I was just like riding the bikes for the very first time in the community. And yeah, dude, that thing sent me like a rocket. And I couldn't even ride the bike. So I'll probably never do that again and just keep it on normal. I mean, the bike's already quick. I will say that. Brakes feel pretty great. There's no such thing as engine braking. So you really just got to be careful of allowing this electric bike to slow down for you. But I do like the screen setting on it. Not bad, and I oversent the crap out of that. What was I thinking? I don't know. I think I lost like lost track of where I was on the on the track. Man, it's just so quiet. You know what I mean? It's like a church mouse. Wow! 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 Like, look at that. Like, what? <laughs> like, I'm just like I hear nothing. You know what I mean? I'm just ah, smooth and steady. You know what I mean? Just smooth and steady quiet dude holy smokes but not bad i mean i like the bike though i i won't say it's gonna be my go-to choice but i can't just like not say that i have to i can't just say like oh yeah it's at the bottom of the barrel for me because it's actually riding pretty great so i would say right now a stark bark is actually in my top three like literally stark bark is in my top three like i think it's gonna go husky ktm stark bark just because like realistically the bike does actually flow and it has a good good amount of traction and it's kind of just moving on me, dude. It's not growing on me. It's just moving on me. You know what I mean? So I'll go ahead and say the Stark Bar is up there. I couldn't count it out. It's definitely part of the pack. And it's I guess it's part of the 450 life. So, And that'd be crazy to like go to a Supercross, Motocross. And like as you're like waiting to hear the Honda 450 go by with Jet, like you see freaking Jason Anderson leaving freaking uh, Kawasaki to get on a Stark Bar. And you're like, what is he riding, bro? Like, cause you know how they, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the pits, bro. Like, Usually, if the pits, like when you get the pit pass and stuff, they ride on those little electric scooter, scooters to get around. Like, just imagine bringing that onto the track, you know what I mean? Like, that's like the way you're competing. You know? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, you know? I like the old motor. I don't know nothing about like being a mechanic, but I will say it's just, it sounds beautiful, man. I'm a huge, I'm a huge advocate for like hearing mean machines, you know what I mean? Like, hearing that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I enjoy a Yamaha R1, dude. I think it's like the meanest me and a street bike on the market especially if you put like a yoshimura pipe on it you know what i mean like that thing sounds like a demon so i don't know that's me i love hearing them i love hearing these things sing but when i gotta hear you know what i mean like i don't know how i feel about it but 
I will say, Scrouch, you did a really great job of the start bar because it actually is. I was just cruising. Like, I'm kind of sitting here and not really focusing on, like, shifting gears, nothing. I'm kind of just riding the bike. Riding the bike, slowing down, and connecting in ruts. Like, can't ask for a better day. Like, if that was going to be, like, what we wanted to do, I think I would have a good shot at doing a start bar race. But, um, yeah. Yum. Yum. You can take this. There we go. You mean actually slow down for this inside, maybe? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, we could not. I don't know why, but I like railing all these outsides. It's, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Wrap around. There we go. Look what this inside's looking like. Here to here. Ah, eh. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I just... Yeah, I'm ready to get off the bike. I mean, that it's not bad. It's not bad. And, and like, I have to top it at, like, in the top three right now because it actually moves and it has a very good stability under it. Like, suspension's nice on it. So, and that's just, that's just stock, man. So, let's go and get into the next, uh, next bike. Huge shout out to Ken Rocks, man. Absolutely just taking the reins of Suzuki with a Kickstarter, man. Not any bikes left in there other than the Suzuki's getting active. Obviously, two strokers, but... I mean, look at this bike. I mean, I think Scrouch did an amazing job really coming out with the yellow. Nothing like too bright of a yellow. It's just kind of a perfect good yellow. Um, I got to say, man, this bike actually does feel great. It's not the biggest gearing either. Uh, third gear is still going to get you everywhere you want on this bike. Wow, a little bit more bouncy though. You can definitely see a little bit more stiff. I did not absorb at all. So definitely suspension comes uh, stiff, but that's how all Suzuki's are anyway, IRL. I mean, they're very stiff bikes, and you got to really tune up their suspensions to make them a little bit more plush. So, yeah, it's just kind of something you automatically start off with. So, it's going to, if it's going to pogo bounce, it's going to pogo bounce, you know what I mean? Like, probably might break your spleen. Oh, my God, look at the scrub on that thing. Not a bad, uh, not a brown sound mod on it either. Bike feels great, though. I think it's having just as hard as a time as turning as any other bike, though. But we're still trying to make it work. I think it's just like sometimes I forget that you can slow down the bike for a second to connect in a groove and make a turn. And so, you know, like that's like the biggest thing a lot of people have since the game is just so fast right now. You know, like on how fast you really want to move a bike, you got to really understand, like, dude, it's okay for you to literally like take 10 miles per hour out of your freaking race real quick, slow the bike down, connect in the rut, and then dip out. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think I think you're okay with losing that point one, but. You know, sometimes people just forget it, which is I'm guilty as well, but I can literally just slow the bike down just for a second so I can actually connect and after that speed the bike back up. But just like everything's so fast that if somebody else doesn't do it and they get that RNG, they get that RNG to just make the bike go, you know what I mean? And don't have to like worry about the consequences, then they're kind of just keep continuously gaining on you, you know what I mean? But I like the bike. First lap down, I mean, Scrowlix, you this thing feels great. It doesn't feel heavy, you know what I mean? It does not feel as if like we're riding in OEM Suzuki. It feels like it's got the whips, it's got the got the smack down, you know what I mean? Like it's just kind of picking up that weight, it's kind of picking up the speed. Connect. Nope. That was on me. Couldn't make the turn. Could not make the turn. I was a like, low key relying on engine braking right there. Maybe I should not rely on engine braking as much. Cause I know these bikes have some really good ones, but that time right there, I was just coming in way too hot. Right there, definitely too fast in there. Look at that. Third gear just making moves, dude. Making moves. Okay. Now the Suzuki's starting to uh, kind of piss me off. Like, what the heck? You know what I mean? It's just, that, it's just that unpleasant bounce. Like, if you... I was able to OJ on every other bike. Bike was able to absorb it. I get on that Suzuki. You do that, and it's very unforgiving. So, you maybe have to just be a grown man and literally be completely perfect <laughs> on everything you want to do in this bike. Because if not, it's definitely going to set you back. Definitely gonna set you back and the turning radius is not there So definitely maybe with a setup like I said change up the suspension maybe change up the turning the swing arm I think you'll have a little bit better better time riding the Suzuki because don't give up on it I, I know this bike has its has its problems, but I think it's still there a force to be reckoned with Ah oh, Man dude trying to turn this bike is insane. It's definitely still a boat though definitely still a boat on turning Gotta figure that one out 
I don't know, I just love, I love the skinniness of these bikes. Like, even this bike looks way skinnier than, like, all the OEMs. Like, you, you're expecting to see a big boy, a little, little meaty frame on it. Oh, man. You were expecting to see, wow, as soon as I pressed a little bit of the brake, I went right over the handlebars. These brakes are definitely sensitive. You got to be careful on those. You, I think it's definitely relying more on engine braking. Like, brakes are definitely probably sitting over the top. There we go. There we go. Kind of have to be a little cautious at times. Um, I will say it's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. You know, I think Honda still needs some work. I think I think I placed this and the Honda in the same boat right now. Kind of needing a little bit of touch-ups, but I don't necessarily hate the bike. It's just certain things like what I was doing. It just needs turning as well. Like, that's all it is. Now, I'll say it again and again. There's something about this TM that I'm liking, man. I love the bar pad. I love the fender. I love the vibrant blue on it. Like, it's just beautiful, dude. Like, this bike feels like it might just dominate outdoors. And my boy Maximus keeps telling me to get on the TM for the OEMs. He said, like, literally just give it a chance. I have not done it. And I feel like it's going to be too late until I realize that that bike's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And I might just go ahead and dominate outdoors with it. Like, it just feels nice, dude. And I really like this this model on it. Like, the frame, the everything. Like, this bike feels great. 450's definitely got my heart. I think I'm going to go ahead and bump this up into my top three. I would say possibly yeah Husqvarna still won I'm, I'm gonna just go and say right off the top like I, I don't see anything wrong with this bike I think it literally has the best physics like out of the pack right now but I still like the Husqvarna it just felt right and natural so I think Husqvarna TM then KTM Husqvarna TM then KTM you know take that Stark Varg out of there but like look at this oh that was on me oh I didn't turn the bike enough Ooh. oh that power's feeling pretty great I just, I'm not getting any of that weird front tuck stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, wow. As soon as I said that. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I actually got some front tuck. Okay, maybe I'm giving this this bike a little bit more glaze. I'm definitely glazing, but... Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a worth it glaze. Like, I don't know. Like, the suspension actually is eating up, dude. I mean, maybe not the gearing being there, but I mean, still third gear. You can do everything you want on it. I don't know. Right off the bat, being, being stock... Like, look at that. Like, off the Suzuki, I probably would have bounced pretty hard. This thing ate it up, like, over and over send, you know? Like, how how could you not want to ride this bike? I definitely say right now, you put a setup on this bike, you're, 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 you're him. You put a setup on this TM, you're him. I'm just saying it right now. Wow. Nice freaking sound mod on it as well. Can we whip it, though? The real question. Can we hit a 360 on it, though, is the real question. Wow, that was a big boy. We brought that back. Oh my gosh. We brought that back and that freaking suspension ate it all up, dude. Honestly, I think I, I literally probably would have got waxed on OEM. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I brought that back and was still able to plant. I like this bike. Honestly, it, it's competing for, for first spot right now. It's literally competing for first spot, dude. Let's go Varna's there, but dude, this TM, yeah, this thing nice, bro. This thing is absolutely sexy, dude. Look at that. Got a touch up in there. Get him in there. There we go. Drive off. Connect. Connect. Yeah. Skrallex, this one's my... This is the one. <laughs> this is the one, dude. I like this bike. Actually, probably the, perf the perfect one in the pack, to be honest with you. I think we got like what two more bikes to be to be tested two more and i can't get off. i don't even want to get off this like i actually want to like low-key main and like practice i think like after this video i'm probably just going to get on and like practice this bike this this thing is absolutely gorgeous definitely need a setup for this thing because as soon as i can actually fully touch up on this thing it's going to be wrapped as soon as make somebody as soon as someone makes a like a like a series on the a kit bikes this is the one as soon as someone makes a series on the AK bikes, I'm going straight to 450s and I'm riding the TM, dude. This thing's got some money. Like, look at that. Look, Overson, flush. Like, you can't. What? You know what I'm saying? Let's see what the outside looks like. Wow. It's just absolutely insane. 
is absolutely insane. There we go. Easy peasy. I don't want to get off. Dude, look at the whip. Can I bring that one back too? Oh, I could not. <laughs> Here on the Triumph 450, and I'm not gonna lie, I like the Batman-ish Knight Knight Rider. Oh wow, wow! Right, oh wow! Right off the bat, we're uh, we're getting a little bit too much too much saucy on it. Right off the bat, though, I do enjoy the Knight Rider kind of Batman look on it, like the matte black with a little bit of yellow. Just kind of brings out that old Batman looky look look on it. A little bit of white in there now. I, as this video is coming out, Skrallix did say that he is going to be bringing out a Ducati. He's making a Ducati. I cannot wait for that bike to come out. I think I'm going to be D1 bound, signing the papers. Like, I'm just going to only want to ride the Ducati. I'm actually excited for that bike. Uh, but the Triumph, man, I mean, I got to say, Triumph is actually having a really great year. Um, nothing like, you know, exponential, but like, they're actually pushing P with Jalik Swole, and I can't think of the other other guy at the moment but Jalik Swole's having some really good qualifying really good spots I mean I think he's just not he's not he's having a hard time finishing I think it start really well but like then like as soon as that like fatigue sets in he's having a hard time so something maybe Jalik Swole is hopefully gonna help in the outdoors but Jalik Swole is actually pretty good in the outdoors so I I just know like he's still practicing up on that supercross and it was really cool for him to actually just step up to the plate but I think for motocross we're gonna be seeing a whole different Jalik um, especially on this Triumph, man. So I think the Triumph is going to have a really good season out for the outdoors and kind of pushing some good points to get into the SMX. No, like, first place contenders, but i definitely say, like, a top five, maybe. Top top seven. If you can get a top seven consistently, I think that's a dub in my book for Triumph, and you could just kind of push from there, you know, because they're still trying to work the bike out. It's almost like Ken Roxon, K, uh, like KTM with Chase Sexton. Like, they're all still trying to figure out, okay, how comfortable can we get these riders right now like in their first years you know what i mean that's all it is you know it's still bike setup and all that so but right now the bike feels great bike feels great i will say right now it actually feels amazing other than like what happened in the beginning i gotta put this probably past the ktm now probably gotta put this over above the ktm for sure it's not even that like i hate the ktm but i just think right now i've been kind of just talking and riding and it's like i'm not like stepping on glass you know like i think i said this bit like again for like another bike in the 250s like sometimes i'm just able to get on a bike and it's just i automatically feel the flow like i i could sit here talk it up chop it up and it's just like man i i feel the suspension under me i feel the power like i just know where i need to be at all times so definitely triumph in the top three taking over that ktm so i think it goes husky it goes tm then triumph so Definitely give this Triumph a go if you guys are going to be riding these bikes. And I hope you guys have been just enjoying this video, man. I really do greatly appreciate you guys for, like, all of this, man. Thank you guys for 26,000 subs on YouTube. I feel like this is very late into the video, but better, better late than never, right? You know, I appreciate you guys, man. This has been absolutely insane. All the support you guys have been giving. And huge, huge shout-out to Scrawlix for coming out with this, this freaking bike. I mean, this bike pack. Because, like, once again, it's just another avenue of approach. It's fun. And I think it was a huge debacle. Like, I, I am saying this a pretty late as well, but like, like he had to literally prove that these bikes weren't like ripped off or stolen from OEM. Like, he literally said that he makes bikes. You know what I mean? Like, he loves doing it. Like, it's on, it's phone M graves for him. You know what I mean? Like, I like that. And I'm happy that he did it and he was able to prove them wrong. Like, all those haters. Like, that's kind of insane though that you have to do that. Kind of like the the community we lit, like we're we're in, to where like you literally have to prove yourself that you didn't steal it off people which i get you know once again like i guess we don't have that many people literally in the community right now making bikes or doing stuff so it's almost like oh are you sure you didn't get that off somebody or ripped file so i respect it but then i don't respect this it. it's kind of bs at times you know what i mean so I, I feel like i feel like it's still that just part to where it's just like man we aren't coming together you know what i mean like like there's so much doubt before there's trust you know and i get it i for sure get it but definitely for the triumph i like it Definitely for the Triumph. Scrallix, you did a great job. 100%. Get that Ducati out. Last but not least is the Yamaha 450. And I'm going to let you know right now, I hate this damn rev limiter. It sounds like I'm on a freaking pit bike. It sounds like I'm on a little pity. This thing's got nothing but freaking power. And I'm on a little pity? Nani? Now, I will say the Yamaha uh, 250, I was not gelling with at all. That thing had nothing but front hook issues kind of almost made me not want to like try the rest of the bikes out because like i just felt like it wasn't going to be there but and the bike the rest of the bike pack surprised me so i hope that this yamaha can come together and and 
bring it together and maybe just show a little bit of wor worth as being the big brother but right off the bat man i don't like this sound mod at all dude i'm definitely if i get back on this bike i gotta go into the files and change it but i will say right now it is holding up expectations because i was hoping that the 450 was gonna do good i mean it's definitely like a fan favorite in the world right now huge shout out to like tomac egan you know what i mean like all, all, all of them, dude. Yamaha is really killing the game. Like, besides Jet Lawrence actually getting so many points for like Honda, if it wasn't for Jet Lawrence, I just don't think Honda would be actually, you know, second place right now in like team points. Because Joe Stramo, like, he's doing stuff 100%, but like, not as much as what like Hayden Deegan combined, Nate Thrasher, all of them. Like, they're literally putting in combined points over and over and over again, like, really getting some good spots. So. Jet Lawrence, if he single-handedly destroys, like, with Honda on the outdoors and wins it for Honda, that is absolutely insane. Like, I would, I would literally have to go to the drawing board and start seeing, like, how can we get another Jet Lawrence, like, on any other team? Because if he single-handedly destroys and, like, literally makes that happen, it's like, dude, Yamaha's got, like, so many, so many star people in Yamaha, and it's just like, we all just got beat by one guy. That, that goes to show he's a phenom, and I don't care what nobody says. That boy Jet is absolutely insane at riding. But yeah, ha, uh, the Yamaha actually might be taking over. Um, I think this automatically just goes back, and I think I have to take it over the Triumph. <laughs> I just said the Triumph was it, but now the Yamaha feels really great. The Yamaha feel all right. Besides me sliding out myself, like the Yamaha feels really great. Like I'm not feeling that front hook. I'm. I mean, besides the sound mod, this thing actually is connecting in ruts. Picking up on speeds, got some a really good power band, so I definitely say give this one a go as well. Like, just change the sound mod because I feel like I'm having to talk over this this freaking little hamster thing running. Like, this is absolutely crazy though, but definitely worth it, man. I like it. I really wonder, you know, this. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I wonder. I really wonder, like, when we're gonna get our first ever like eight like eight kit skins. Like, who's going to actually, like, step forward and make skins for these bikes? I think that would be really cool. You know, instead of just having the default ones. I think the Kawasaki is probably the most cool custom. No, no, take that back. I think it's Kawasaki Gas Gas and, like, Husqvarna has probably the most best, like, default, like, I guess, fairings on it. Like, I like it. Like, I love that it was a little bit like that. The Yamaha, I just don't like the all-natural blue. I want a little bit of, you know, a little bit of flavor on it. I hate how it just comes all blue. It's not my, not not my, not my cup of tea, not my liking. Now Honda has a little bit of flavor on it as well, but the Yamaha, man, I'm just like, dude, why? What, what is this? Like you put it all blue and all you do is put like <laughs> a little bit of Yamaha stickers on the side, bro. Like spice this thing up, bro. This thing look bland, bro. Yeah, holy smokes, dude. This freaking, this freaking gearbox is just not it, chief. <laughs> but. Coming to the end of the video and the end of the lap, I want to say thank you guys so much for support. Um, I hope you guys give this these bikes a go. I do apologize to Skrallix for literally just taking so long. I, I, I just couldn't get these bikes going when I first came out. I was doing a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff with these things, but I'm glad they're on the Deddies. Glad they're on the Deddies now, and hopefully get some you know more riding with these things, and hopefully every, the whole community is more look at this. And um, yeah, man, I appreciate you guys so much. We're going to keep cranking out all this good content for you or try my best. Um, I know I usually don't come out with like videos like this because, you know, I am such a busy man IRL. So and I stream almost all my time like, or I usually take up all my time streaming. I just love chilling with the community. So usually I get all my videos from literally doing like a elim or doing some races on stream. And then I'll just like edit a little bit and post those. So I'm glad to be able to do something like this and actually sit down. You know talk with you guys and actually run my opinions and thoughts on stuff because you know i don't i don't like doing track reviews it's just not my niche i think i'll do them here and there especially like but that's just about it man i'm just not not a huge advocate for it maybe one of these days i'll get back into it but right now it's just not it but with that being said i actually enjoy the a kits i'm glad i really hope a series comes out on these bikes here soon um they did leave a, you know they, they did come up on the hype i mean they definitely have the hype they're not overrated so Anyways, it's your boy IBS Kelson. I'll catch you guys all in the absolute next one. Thank you for watching. Pa 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 p